How nice is this cardigan, man? This is a Liat cardigan. Isn't that crazy? They're coming out with all the goods. I feel so, feel so cozy, especially in winter, which it is here in Australia. It's been perfect. I'm a cozy boy, but we're not here for cardigans, are we? <laughs> Liat have just released a 7.5 line and it is damn fantastic. This is the flow tour stuff. They sent me all this before my big Philippine and Himalayan tour a few months ago. I'm still going, I'm still editing the series. If you want to check it out, I'll link them at the end of the video. So yeah, I put these through its paces, maybe racked up around 3000 kilometers, but I mean, 3000 twisty rock sand, you know, all the off-road sort of stuff. I'm going to share my thoughts on all of this. This video is sponsored by Liat, which I'm very grateful for, but they've given me free reign with this video. So I'm allowed to say whatever I want, good or bad. Um, so I'm just going to unleash it all on you. Let's get into it. So first, this is the flow to a jacket and pants. This is the desert camo. Looks damn fantastic, especially in the Himalayas. I was sort of disappearing in the rocks and everything. Um, even flying in the drone here in South Australia, it's kind of deserty looking. So wearing this, I could see the T7, but it was, you know, yeah, it was a struggle to see me. So yeah, it's... It's legit desert camo. And then we've got the stealth pants as well. We'll also be looking at the Hydro Dry Evo boot and the X-Flow 7.5 gloves. And I'll even tell you a little bit about these jerseys. These were super impressive, man. Jacket first. Gloves first. We'll do the gloves first. This is how the X-Flow 7.5 gloves look after a 3,000 kilometer slog. Um, I didn't wear them the entire time during the trip, but sometimes when it was raining, uh, these aren't waterproof. And there were some times when it was really cold, these aren't these aren't cold riding gloves, not at all. These are super breathable, mainly for warmer riding. And you know, when you hit the trails, you heat up. So these are perfect. And for the whole, you know, long ride, riding eight hours a day, these aren't the type of glove that I'd want to wear doing that for a long period of time, which oh, I did do that. And it just gave me massive calluses and I was just sore. Uh, there's not much, there's not much padding around the, this part of your hand. Whatever that part's called. Not much padding there at all. Well, there's no padding there. But there is on the palms there and along the knuckles here as well and on the wrist. So you do have that level one gel protection there. As I said, super breathable. It's got the nano grip on the palm there and it is super grippy. Um, I had no <laughs> issues with grip. Works with your phone, which is fantastic. They're thin enough so you can feel everything, like absolutely everything. You can feel your zips, you can feel your helmet even. Overall, a great glove for trailing. I wouldn't use them on long tours, but yeah, if you're if you're doing heaps of trails and stuff like that, your hands run hot. These are super breathable. Uh, they dry out super fast. Heaps of grip, and um, you got the armor in the right spots. Hell's yeah. The Flow Tour Jacquard <laughs> jacket. I love this thing, man. This thing's awesome. Uh, let's let's just have a little, we'll just go over it first. So like most ADV jackets, this has a, a liner as well. But this one, what's cool, when you pull it out, take it off, you can wear this by itself and it's actually pretty stylish, you know? It's pretty good, looks the part. You can also have that out, just say you just want to ride in summer, it's warm and then it starts raining and this is in your bag, you can just take that off and chuck it on your jacket. So they're saying that you can wear this in four ways and the four ways is that, yeah, you can wear this by itself, you can wear that by itself, you can wear these together and then you can wear this on the outside of the shelf. So that's pretty handy. These are your extra large mesh panels. Wherever the mesh is, is where it's all ventilated and everything. You've even got the, the big exhaust panel at the back. What I did found, find with this when I first went out for a test ride with it in winter is that, yeah, even with the liner on, it's you can feel the cold air just woof, going right through you, which is awesome for trails. That's perfect for trails. And then the liner and everything, once you're off the bike, it keeps you nice and warm and cozy um, and dry as well. For me, when I was in the Himalayas, I just had the liner on the entire time. It was pretty cool up there in sections. It also got pretty hot. But I didn't find myself getting super duper over the top exhausted or heat stressed with this. The flow is so nice. You might get a bit warm sitting still or whatever, filling up your tank. As soon as you start moving, that flow comes through. It's like someone's turned the air on. It feels fantastic. In addition to the mesh panels here, we have the Liat ripstop on the outer shell that just prevents you from snagging branches and just ripping straight across. There's just all these little squares there and that holds everything all together all nicely. It's got reflective visibility detailing. It's the Hydro Dry Max outer shell, so you got breathability, it's waterproof, all that good stuff. And then of course you got the YKK zips, waterproof, and then all your adjustment straps around the, the arms there. 
uh, upper arm, lower arm. You got your, your cuffs here. If it gets a little bit breezy on your ride, you don't want wind going up there. These are very, that grips down nicely and it prevents it all from going up there. It works really well actually. I was really impressed with that. With the liner, when you put it on, you just have like a really nice feel. It's like with the pants, you put the pants on and your legs just glide in. You just glide in and this as well. Even if you get sweaty, it's, it's comfortable to wear all the time. Even around the hips, you've got the hip draw. You can tighten that in. In terms of pockets, you've got these two bad boys down here, Velcro. What I do like about these is that they have the little lip there. So that, that rolls over as you close this pocket to stop any water from getting in. No chance. So yeah, nice two big ones there. You've got hand warmers on the side here, on both sides, there and there. They're awesome. Perfect, literally literal hand warmers. Waterproof phone pocket, straight in there. You've got one for the liner as well in there, which is really nice. The liner also has its own zip pockets there too, your little hand warmers. And then you've got your big old back pocket here, and this is waterproof as well. Not so much the meshy part, but yeah, this one here is all waterproof, and that's got that little fold down thing as well. So it folds over, that's all nice. You've also got this Hydra Pack holder here as well. So you can put a 1.5 litre bladder in there and it's harnessed with some internal weight distribution straps. So you don't have to worry about it being bulky or it's pulling on your jacket in a certain way. And then you've got the tube, it runs up through the jacket and it comes out uh, right here, you've got a little Hydra port hole. So it's, everything's all snug and all internal and really cool. And then you've got the clip there as well. So then it loops around and then start having a suckle. And it also has neck brace support, so if you're rocking a neck brace, you don't need to worry about all the straps and stuff like that. Apparently this just locks straight in, which is cool. I don't have a neck brace, can't tell you anything about them. It has the integrated 3DF Liat armor in the elbows, the shoulders, the chest, and the back. This is the goodness right here. This is all through their armor. I didn't use the armor in the jacket for when I did my Himalayan trip, only because I was wearing the Under Armour, their stealth Under Armour. And that fit nicely under that, under a jersey. And that meant that if I wanted to, I could just pack the jacket away and just rock the jersey with the, uh, with the armor underneath. And for weight reasons as well. This, all the armor starts weighing up a little bit when you're doing flights, international stuff, you know, you gotta keep it under the, under the limit. So I went with that. But I've ridden around here with it and it feels fantastic with all the little poppers and all that and the straps you can make the jacket just hug you and everything feels sort of comfortable you sort of forget that the arm is even there which is nice i love this jacket i think it's such a fantastic piece of kit had all the pockets in the right spots the hand warmers were perfect especially in the himalayas we have that massive cold breeze just coming through hands in the pocket keep you nice and toasty yeah breathable it's great i just wouldn't wear it for extreme cold for full-on winter rides or anything like that you're gonna get pretty cold it is super breathable so yeah just keep that in mind i'll use this for summer spring and autumn it's just the comfortable secure awesome looking jacket you'll see me wearing this a lot more 100 for sure moving on to the 7.5 flow tour pants same vibe Made out of the ripstop fabric. You've got the breathable mesh there on the back of the legs as well. Super breathable. My legs run really hot, like super, super, super duper hot. And these kept everything at bay. I didn't wear these in the Philippines only because they were rocking like 40 degrees. Same as the jacket, they're 40 degrees Celsius. And then I'm off the bike. As soon as you get off the bike, <laughs> it's, it's cool. It's like 50 degrees, man. So I left these over for that. But for the Himalayan tour, these were fantastic. Best. ADV pants I own. They look good, they feel good, same vibe, slip your legs in, really comfortable to pull on. The suspenders are definitely useful. I love these so much. You do have the little waist belt clip here as well, but the suspenders are a game changer. You don't have to worry about your pants ever just falling down a little bit. Just strap those on underneath your jersey or underneath your armor or whatever, and away you go. It does also have the, the jacket zipper, so you can zip up your pants to your jacket. That'll also prevent that problem or any coldness from getting up there. You got your two pockets at the top here, easy access. I had my passport in this pocket the entire trip and it's, it's dry, it rained, uh, dust, mud, everything. It didn't affect it whatsoever. It was nice and safe, it was with me 100% all the time. And then you've got on the back, Velcro. So these are over the boot pant. You get your Velcro and then your little strap there. Super minimal, not much to adjust, but it's it's all you need. It just slides over the boot, throw that on, you're good to go. Removable liner on the inside, so that's your waterproof liner. I never had to take that off. I felt like it was breathable enough, you know. Uh, it did get pretty cold there as well, so they all stayed on. The thing I did notice 
I did spend a lot of hours in the saddle. It's about 12, 1,200 kilometers, but we're doing about six hours a day or something or more. On the inside there, on the inside of the leg, you can see there's just a little bit of wear on the mesh there. So you got the stretchy areas to make it more comfortable when you're bending over and doing normal things. So you got it there at the back there, back of your legs and up under the, the crutch there. And then you've got these two panels here for cushioning for the, on the bike um, and to help not scratch the bike as well. Really nice soft material um, and it's also heat resistant as well so you don't burn your leg on the engine or anything like that. You can strap it all up so that it doesn't flap around and it looks really cool and it complements the, the jacket. If you're going to go float tour, you might as well get the whole kit, huh? Because they look sick together. Awesome pants. Highly, highly rate them. They're my favourite. Oh, I almost forgot to mention the armour. Of course, you've got some hip armour in here, in the hip, <laughs> and you've got knee armour as well. Uh, nice, big, thick, fat boys. I had, I, I did have a four. I had a four in the Himalayas, but the cameras weren't rolling. Um, basically, just pinning it down a hill, retired is locked up. I almost had it, but it was just so much. Just, you know, just trying to, trying to handle it, all rocky and stuff like that. Dropped the bike, went for a tumble. I remember thinking as I hit the dirt that it was it was quite pleasant. It was a soft impact. It really it really was. It was all cushiony and just smudgy, all that in the right places. The armor, it's perfect. Hip, knee, happy days. Moving on, the Elliott Hydro Dry 7.5 booty. These are awesome. I've got the 5.5s. These, these are so much better. <laughs> the other ones look cooler, I guess, because they're nice, big and bulky if you want to look like, you know, Iron Man styles or whatever. But these are so good, man. They're much lighter. They don't squeak. They're a squeakless boot. Super comfortable. They're made for riding and for walking. And if you forget about that, it reminds you on the bottom. Ride and walk. Hells yeah, man. But you can see the taper of the boot. It's It's got that nice contour, I guess, like a walking shoe. So you don't feel like you're clopping around everywhere. Really good tread pattern as well. So when you drop your bike and you're in mud and all that, you got traction. You can dig your heels in a little bit. And then even on the bottom there, the back of the heel, it tapers up. So you just got a nice, they're comfortable, man. You can run in these, you can do anything. You sort of forget that these are ADV boots. Just like the jacket, and the pants, these slide on really nicely as well. They accommodate for wide-footed people. I'm super wide, man. And that's the biggest issue with ADV and off-road boots are the, is the width. These are awesome, they're so good. These are waterproof as well. I've tested these in the water so much. It's just so nice just walking through big muddy puddles. One time in the Philippines, it was a tropical storm. I've never seen rain like that in my life, man. So good. Absolutely bucketing down. Water just gushing down the road, and I was just just having fun, man. Like a kid, just kicking water around, having a blast. My feet were bone dry. In saying that, though, I found that although they are breathable, when it was really warm, yeah, my my feet are sweating. So your socks are going to get wet. You're still going to have some some sweaty feet action. You get some forged aluminium buckles that look the part. So on the inside of the boot, you've got a nice protective TPU panel. Here you've got the 3DF foam impact protector there to just help support your ankle and protect your ankle. And on the shin, you have a nice reinforced plate there. There's a whole lot more going on. If you want to look at more of the specs there, you can jump on the website, even for the jacket, the pants, the gloves, everything's there so you can have a good detailed look on what the upgrades are and everything. Overall, fantastic boot. I highly, highly rate these guys. These are sick. The only thing I could see is that the, the toe just wore out there a little bit from shifting. That's it otherwise. Otherwise it's all good. All good on the hood, man. Perfect boots. I love them. I wear these a lot. I remember my ASMR videos, everyone's like, oh, you're squeaking, brother, you're squeaking. Not anymore, man. Woohoo! Come on. These jerseys are insanely good man. Holy craps, so this is your summer one. It's extremely breathable all over. There's holes at the neck there. Amazing, this thing was awesome. In the 40 degree heat in the Philippines, you need all the airflow as much as possible. I had Under Armour with this as well and it fit over the top and it just worked perfectly. I use this as a towel. Wipe all your sweat off, wipe, wipe your body after a shower or whatever. Then this, this dried in like five minutes and it just didn't stink. I wore it for like three or four days in a row without washing it, sweating every day, and it didn't stink. Super impressive with that. And then this is the wind blocker. I wore this the entire time I was in the Himalayas. I think I changed jerseys once, but it was too cold. This blocks the wind out so, so well. 
I could have worn this the entire 10 days without washing it and without it stinking as well. I didn't, just because I thought it's not a good thing to do. But I think, I reckon I could have. Just one jersey, man. If you're gonna do a cool mountain ride, camping out for five days, you just need this one jersey and you're, and you're sweet. Check it out. If you're into this gear, man, this is all cool tech and I'm frothing that Liat's on it. It's so good. The cardigan, man, it looks sick. It looks so good. Thanks, Leah, for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Watch my trip. Watch it. It's probably here. It's probably here. I'm going to make it there. Watch my trip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah.